Good afternoon, this is Tina. <laughs> See you again. So, this video, we're gonna summarize the difference between parameters and attribute. Okay, uh, let's start. But this time, I won't use any coding. I just uh, uh, summarize. Okay, because uh, if for coding part, how to use them, you actually can go to previous two videos. Okay. They, 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 I mentioned how to use them. Okay, so let's go and go to our one note. Okay, our prepared. Uh, we're gonna have a table talking about that. So this part we are using parameter. Hey, this one comes back because previously it's very thick. Even though I change it to th anyway, if you follow this playlist, you will see th the problem I'm talking about. Previously, last uh, some last video when I use this. The thickness that part doesn't work anymore. Attribute this one, okay. And uh, we w let's draw some kind of like a table, okay, to list the difference between them. <gasps> Forgive about my joy, okay. Uh, I need to see, okay, it's in the. Hey, I can do a. Uh, <laughs> so first one we talk about compared using type so what kind of type of parameters we have and what kind of type of attribute we have okay parameter what kind of type we have the last video we talk about parameter how do we get the parameter we you are using request which is HTTP serverlet request Right. Then we can use request that get a parameter to get the parameter, and there are other two. When I uh, talk about the difference between serverlet config and serverlet context, from there we also can get init parameters. Right. So here, uh, for serverlet config, and another one is serverlet context. There are something called init parameters so these are the t type uh, of the parameter we already talked about and that's all and for the attribute type we also mentioned three right HTTP uh, servlet request right another one is what HTTP session right another one is what uh, Servlet context. Do you remember? I think I I let me. Okay, good, very good. Okay, I like it. I want to, to be like a, this. So here has uh, more space. Okay, so this is type. Okay, and uh, let's go from easier to more like a uh, difficult. Okay, the comparison. The first, the second one is a return type. Mm, probably not good. This way is not a good. Not a good. Not a good. Let's just follow uh, how a uh, method to set. What's a method to set a parameter? Uh the um, like um, broad answer probably no probably is a no I would say no because there's a no method in like a HTTP server request or HTTP uh, so or server config or server context there's no method called data set parameter there's no the way to say uh, for HTTP request HTTP servlet uh, request the parameter a uh, query string you know do, do you remember uh, the query string suppose if it's a get request 
right? Probably you have a HTTP localhost, uh, localhost something, and after that you have a question mark, username equals something, and a password equals something, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. This is a get, this is a query string. And for the post request, the post request is what? Post request is the form data. And this form data is in the request body, but eventually it still will become a, a pair, which is separated use ampersand, right? It will be the same format as the query string. This is HTTP request parameters. And uh, for uh, the serverlet config and the uh, serverlet context, we still cannot uh, set them because they are con uh, those values for serverlet config. The init prime are set where? The init primes are set either in uh, annotation web servlet right in web servlet you can using web init prime and or using uh, dd 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 means web.xml do you remember we have a servlet parameters then a parameter name and a parameter value to set that and for servlet context how to set it and this is still init parameter Right, and how to say that? To say that, you must using DD, which is a web.xml file, uh, because web.xml is called the deployment descriptor. So most of the time, you can say DD deployment descriptor. Okay, either the so we can say uh, there's no method to set a parameter. Okay, because they either in the query string, they all either in web.xml or web servlet to config them. Okay, right. So this is a method to set for the parameter. How about the attribute? Attribute very clear, right? For request, a session, or servlet context. All of them using the same kind of like the same method name set attribute to set the uh, attribute right and the set attribute the key is the string type the value is an object okay got it mm, good okay next one. Uh, I should have become, I should have using that one. I have to move upper a little bit, okay. Okay, upper. Next one, method to get. Which means, uh, which method we can use to get the parameter and attribute. And for the parameter, they are different. Uh, for uh, get the parameter in request, we're using request dot get parameter to get that right. Get a parameter, right? And here is the key for the uh, the, the string type, a uh, string type of key, right? And for servlet config and servlet context, the method name is different. For servlet config, and uh, let me finish, okay? Servlet context. To get the parameter, you have to using dot get r n i t get init parameter, and also the here is the key for the parameter string type. Okay, and how to get the attribute? Still same. No matter is the request scope or it's a session scope. Or is a servlet context. Okay, we're using the same method name, get attribute. Right. And here we also give a key. The key is a string type. Okay. So be careful for the parameter. We have different method. If it's a request using get a parameter, 
and uh, for several contexts and uh, config we're using get init parameter right so this is one and the uh, last one is a return type return type which means after once we retrieve the uh, value when we're using get a parameter get any the parameter for retrieve parameter value what's the return type returned by this two method or string type which means uh, if you're using this method and this method the return type is always a string always okay and uh, for the uh for the attribute what's the return type the return type is an object so when you set you can set an object and when we uh, retrieve it's gonna also be object uh, object type which means when you're using get attribute it's gonna be an object and if you want to be a string or to be something else you have to retrieve after uh, after the get attribute give you the object you have to do a done casting so that's it here we summarize the difference between parameter and the attribute okay and uh, we differentiate it based on what kind of types of parameter how to set and how to get the parameter and attribute okay basically uh, like uh, what we mentioned here okay mm, so far I couldn't think other things I can add here probably more APIs like uh, here you can get in the parameters you are written all the initialization parameters so you can iterate and then uh, retrieve it okay so anyway I'm done with this uh, uh, what should I say I'm done with this video <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah,